Okay, so here's part two using an array. Um, so the first one here, let's practice the multiplication. Wow, I don't like that blue. I'm going back to the black. Sorry, that's ridiculous. Spread out too far. All right, so 12 times 3. There we go. And you remember when we do the array, we're looking at what does 12 mean? 12 means a 10 and 2. 10 and 2. And we're multiplying it times 3. So 3 times 10 is 30. And 3 times 2 is 6. So the answer to this is 36. So now <clears throat> let's look at it the other way. We have 36. Remember, and we're going to make sure you tell them, the kids, about the related facts. 36 divided by 3. So if we look at this, right, so we have 3 and we have 30. So this is going to be our 30. And this is going to be our 6. So we're going to say, hmm, how many times will 3 go into 30? Well, you can even talk to the kids about, even if you did it with the rods again, until they get it. But this is 10, 10, and 10. It's 10 times 3. Oh, so this must be 10. And 3 times what will give you 6? Or, if you think about it, 3 and 3, right? That is times 2. So the answer has to be 12. Okay? Want to do another one? I know you do, because you don't have an option. You're watching the video. <laughs> Sorry. All right. So here, let's do 35 divided by 5. And so here's our array. What are we dividing by? We're dividing by 5. And what are we dividing? We're dividing 30 and we're dividing 5. So let's see. 5 times what gives me 30? 5 times 6 gives me 30. And 5 times what gives me 5? Five? 5 times 1. So 6 plus 1 equals 7. So 35 divided by 5 equals 7. Okay, do another one. Here, let me move it over a little bit. Let's do uh, 24 divided by 6. So again, we're dividing by 6. And what do we have? 20 and 4. Now, this is where you're going to have to think this one through. How many times will 6 go into 20? Oh, well, let's see. 6 times 3 equals 18. So we're going to put a 3 up here. And we've used how much? Well, we still have two that we haven't used. So we're going to put that two over here with this four. Oops, we're going to put a two over there with four. So now we have six divided. How many times will six go into six? It'll go in there one time. So it equals four. Okay, here's the next one. 28 divided by 4. So we're dividing by 4 and we're dividing 28. So then we have to think about it. How many times will 4 go into 20? So that means 4 times 5. So this has to be 5. And how many times will 4 go into 8? That's 4 times 2. So this has to be 2. So 5 plus 2 is 7. So the answer is 7. Okay. We'll do one more. We're 18 divided by 3. So here's 3. 18 is 10 and 8. 3 times what gives you 10? Well, closest we can do is 3 times 3. So we'll put the 3 up there. And we've used 9. So we still have one more to get to our 10. So we're going to give it there. So 8 and 1 now is 9. And 3 times 3 gives us 9. So we're going to put the 3 up here. So 3 plus 3 equals 6. So 18 divided by 3 equals 6.